New at 11, President Trump ordered meat production factories across the country to stay open this week. Now, this is big news, and it's a big deal for many in Georgia, where a lot of poultry is processed. One poultry giant says they're ready to continue rolling. And despite concerns about the spread of the coronavirus in southwest Georgia, ABC 27's Jada Williams spoke exclusively with the chief financial officer of Sanderson Farms. New at 11, they talk about bouncing back after COVID-19 outbreaks slowed production at their plant in Moultrie. Sanderson's farm chicken is in just about every grocery store. The Moultrie plant is now getting back to normal after sending more than 400 Doherty County employees home. We have had positives. Um, we're, not, we're not talking about the number, but it mirrors the community. With cases of COVID-19 spiking in southwest Georgia, Mississippi-based chicken plant Sanderson Farms made the bold decision to send 424 employees home earlier this month. So we called Sanderson Farms Chief Financial Officer Mike Cockrell to learn more about how they handled the outbreak in Moultrie, Georgia. We looked at our duty roster and realized we had 424 people who had addresses in Daltrey County. Uh, out of an abundance of precaution, we asked all 424 of them to go home, self-quarantine with pay for 14 days. In that time, the plant's production took a hit. We reduced capacity by about 15 percent. ABC 27 asked the community how they felt about plant workers testing positive for the virus. You know, it just should be a little bit more regulation. It should shut them down. But yeah, I go scared to go by, meet people to touch them, with, you know, with their hands. But Cockrell maintains there's no reason to be afraid to buy their meat. By all scientific measures, there's absolutely no risk from eating meat. You can't get the virus from eating cooked product. And while the production took a hit, the demand for chicken didn't. But maybe you've noticed the chicken that you want is a little harder to come by. We get a lot of orders um, out of Moultrie for deboned breast meat. That is a very popular item in Florida where we ship a lot of that product. But Cockrell says the workers in Moultrie have returned and they'll be back to full production by mid-May. Cockrell tells me there are many guidelines put in place to keep all of the employees safe. Those guidelines include everyone wearing face masks and shields, as well as making sure that everyone gets their temperature checked before walking into the building. In Tallahassee, Jada Williams, ABC 27. Thank you, Jada. And Mike Cockrell says the president's executive order for meat plants will not affect them as much. Chicken plants are more isolated than other meat facilities, but he also says Sanderson Farms enacted many of the safety guidelines under the order back in March.